Hi all, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. My name is Nitin Kaplas. Let's talk about today's problem. A problem name is pair violating the BST property. Let's read the question first. Our question said, given a binary tree with n nodes, find the number of pairs which are violating the BST property, right? So here we are given the BST properties. So first property is every node is greater than its left child and less than its right child. Second property. Every node is greater than maximum value of its in the left subtree and less than the minimum value in the right subtree. Third property, the maximum in the left subtree must be less than the minimum in the right subtree, right? So here, if you see the first example, the nodes is 5, total nodes is 5. So here we have the nodes value 10 is the root node, which its left is 50. 10 ka right is 40 and 40 left is 20 and 40's right is 30. So here if you see our output is 5, it means that there in this tree we have 5 pairs which are violating the BST property, right? So let's understand this question better. So this is the given example, right? In this example, we are given the BST property, right? So, we are given the three BST properties in the question, right? So, if I just club these three properties into a single statement, that simply tells us that this is the root value, right? All the value in the left subtree of the root is less than, let me write here, left side. All the value in the left side of the root, right? This means this is a root. All the value here, right? It's a less than the root itself right and all the value in the right subtree right this side right right side this value all are greater than the root right means this side right if you compare this as a root after that this is also root you have to do the same steps for that 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 node also right so how we can solve this question let me raise this first Now, how we can solve this question? If you see BST, right? When the BST is there, the first thing which came to my mind is this solution, this problem we can solve using in order traversal, right? So, if this is a valid BST, right? If I do the in order fashion and store that element into any vector or array, all the elements, right, in this stored array, this should be in the sorted manner, right? Let me write here first. So, if I go for the in order traversal, as you know, the in order fashion is first we have to go to the left part, then we have to store the element, right? And then we have to go to the right side. This is the in order fashion, right? Let's do that. Here I am. So, left, left is 50. Then we have to store the 10 then again in the right side go to the left part which is 20 right after that we store 40 which is the root and at the last we store the right side of it which is 30 right let me do the indexing of it right now i have this in order fashion right now this is the first step step one is we have to do the in order fashion right in order traversal we have to store that into the any array right now what are the pair which are violating the property? We can easily find out. When I am at here, just check. In the right side, all the value should be less than. No, all the value should be greater than in the current element, right? If I see my i is here, my j is here. Is this valid? No. Why? Because 50 is greater. So the first pair I have. Let me write here, first pair I have, which is 10 and 50, which are violating the property of it. As you see here also, these are not a valid BST, right? They are not following the property of it. When I go for J one step ahead, again I see 50 and 20, it's are not, not follow the property. Let me write here, second is 50 and 20, right? 
and again I go further. My J is here. Again, it's violating the property, which is 50 and 40. If I see the fourth part, go further, 50 and 30. It's also violating it right now. Now I have to increment my I part, right? Let's increment the I part. Now my I is here and J is one step ahead. It's violating. It's violating. No. Why? Because 10 is less than 20, right? Go one step ahead. It's not violating, right? Again, if I see one step ahead, it's not violating. It means that in this case, nothing is there. So let me increase my I further. So right now, my I is pointing to this case, right? And J is here. It's violating. No. When I hear it's violating, no, it's not violating. Again, we have to go one step ahead to check. Right? Now I'm here. And J is one, one step ahead of I, right? It's violating. Yes. Store here now. Store here. 40 and 30 is a violating, right? Now, if I go further, it's out of bound. At the end of it, my I is pointing to this and nothing is in the right side. So it means that these five pairs which are violating the property and we just need the count of it and we are returning that count. Our output is 5. You can also match these pairs with the explanation part in the question, right? These are the 5 pairs which they are written in the explanation part, right? So, simple steps is just store the in order traversal into the array and then using two loops, we can easily count the pairs which are violating it. So in this case, our time complexity is because I am using two loops here. So my complexity is big of n square, right? If you see the constraint part of this question, we have to solve this question in n log n part, right? Now question arise how we can solve. Now, how we can solve this question into n log n? So, solution 2. Now, the first step is similar, which we had done in the previous, right? We have to do the in order part and store that into the array. Let's do that. So, this is my in order traversal, right? So, what's the element here? Again, 50, 10, 20, 40, and 30, right? This is my array. This is third step. Now, second step is very interesting, right? This question, now in second step, we have to solve, we have to count using a question which we are done previously, which is count in version, right? Just do this question and we easily solve it. So, to solve this question, it's a prerequisite, right? Which is merge sort. I strongly recommend if any one of you are not aware of merge sort, please first try to understand the algo of merge sort. After that, you come here, right, and see the solution of it, how we can do this, right? So when we do the merge sort, we count the inversions. Can account inversion simply tell us that the pair which are violating the property, and after that, we just return the number of pairs which is violating it, right? So let's do that. So, this is my array, right? Let me write here. Okay. Now, in this case, we have to do merge sort, right? And using merge sort, we can easily calculate the number of violating properties or say as number of pairs which are violating the property. So, if you see merge sort, in the merge sort, it's a divide and conquer, right? Sorting part. So, in this case, my low is pointing to the first case. And high is pointing to the last element, right? Let me write here. Second step in the merge sort is we have to find the mid. How we can find the mid? Mid is always equal to low plus high by 2, right? So what is my mid here? 0 plus 4 by 2 is 2. So it's my mid, right? Now we have to divide into two halves, right? So here my I am dividing it. My left half is 
from low to mid right what's the low to mid simply we have 50 here 10 here and 20 here right in the second half or in the right side we have two elements which is mid plus 1 to high so here i have 40 here i have 30 right now let's move forward in this case this is my low this is my high and this is my mid again i have to divide so here i am dividing it so this is my left half right and this is my right half so here the simple condition is when the low and high is pointing to the same we have to stop here because we reach to the one element right if you see here low here high here so in this case low here high here what is my mid mid is this again we have to divide it let's divide it so here if you see we are at the base case when both are pointing to the same elements right low is pointing to this high is pointing to this here also low is pointing to this high is pointing to this right now we are dividing it now it's time to count the inversions the pair which are violating the property and second step which we have to do the sorting part we have to make this in the sorted part right now let's see it so now here this is my left half right let's store the elements in the left half now let me write here left which contain 50 here right now in this case the right is 10 right because left is zero uh, low to mid and mid plus 1 to high in the right side so let me write here right side so in this case my i is pointing to the first element and j is pointing to this element right if you see here my left element should always less than the right elements but here if you see 50 is greater it means this is the first element which is violating the property right so let's write the count here so my count here initially is zero i have to increment it to one right after incremented it you have to increase you have to merge that right now i have to change this array and merge that let me write here into the sorting part so it will be look like this now okay now in this case 20 is there so this is my left half let me write here left and right is this okay let me write here right is 20 right now again i is pointing to this j is pointing to this again just compare between these two it's violating 10 is less it's not right in in this case we have to increment my i now my i is pointing to next element in the left array now my i is here again just compare 50 and 20 yes it's violating right increment the count here i am incremented to just focus on this case i writing in the coding part if i am here right let's suppose after that just suppose here is 60 and 70 just suppose okay i is violating the property right in this case what i am doing is if 50 and 20 is violating the property it's 60 and 20 is also violating the property right 70 and 20 is also violating the property right instead of finding all the pairs what i am doing is i just create a count equals count plus equals n1 what's the size of it if you see what's the size of it its size is 4 right let me write here 4 which is n1 right and where i am standing at 1 it means that i clearly find all the elements which are after the i it's also the violating pairs right it's also include in the violating pairs so i am not going into the further more right i just i am at this place at 50 and i assume that ki 60 and 70 are in the sorted manner yes it's sorted so all the elements after 50 are also the part of violating pairs so i just do the count plus equals n1 minus i where i am standing it's i and n1 is the size of this array right so this is what i am doing in the coding part so what's my actual is this
Now, when I am here, it's violating. I incremented, and I have to increment in this case j, right? So now my j is pointing to out of bound. Here I have to stop, right? And my count till now here is two, right? Now, the second step is simple. We have to merge this into the sorted manner. So now this array should look like this: ten, twenty, fifty, right? It's indexing in this. Let's move forward. Now its left is sorted, and we have the count of it, right? It's time to move into the right side. Here it's my low, it's my high, right? And in this case, what's my mid is? Mid is this. Let me divide this. And right now, forty is here, and thirty is here. Okay. So in this case, in this case, this is my left half, right? Left array, and this is my right array, right? And my I is pointing to this, and J is pointing to this. If you clearly see, this is also violating the property. Let me add here. I increment this, right? So which is equal to three right now. After that, our easy step is we have to merge this into the sorted manner, which is thirty and forty, right? So if you see, after that, what I am doing is I just do what's the size of it? Size is one. Where I am standing here, right? i am standing at 0 means it's a indexing part is 0 so i am doing the 1 minus 0 which is 1 so that's why i am adding here 1 only right i am not doing the plus plus i am doing n1 minus i right hope you understand this intuition right right now this is my left this is my right okay so if you see here my i is pointing to the first element this and j is pointing to this okay Let me write here i and j, right? Now, ten and thirty. It's violating. No. Let's increment my i. My i is pointing to twenty. It's in. It's violating. No, because twenty is less. Again, I have to increment my i. I is pointing to fifty here, right? Just see it. Thirty is and fifty. It's violating. Yes, it's violating, right? What's the size of my this array? It's three. Three minus two. My i is two now. So three minus two is one. So here I am adding one. Okay. After that, if it's violating, I have to increment the j part, which is this. So fifty and forty. It's violating. Yes, it's also violating. Again, do the n one minus i. What's the n one? Three. What's my i? Two. Three minus two is one. Increment one time. After that, just increment the j to find the greatest element. But it, I am out of bound. So here. I have to. My count is five here. If I do the merging part, what's my array look like? Array is now in the sorted manner, which is ten, twenty, thirty, forty, and fifty, right? And after the end of this, we just have to return the count of it, which is five. That's why our output is five in this case, right? Okay. So what's the time complexity of merge sort here? So simply, time complexity of merge is, and we are just doing the merging part, which is n log n, right? And the space we are using here is big of n, right? Okay. So let's do the coding part now. So the first step is we have to do the in order traversal and store that element into the array. Let's first create the array. And make the in order function. Okay, where we are passing root array, and uh, let me write here index. So index right now it's zero. Okay, so let's do the in order first. So in in order. If root equals to equals to null, right? In this case, we are just returning it and go to the left side first. So here I am doing first left side, and after that we have to store, right? So let's store it. Array of index plus plus is equal to. We have to store root data here. Then we have to go to the right side.
ओके सो दिस इज द स्टेप्स ऑफ इन ऑर्डर ट्रेवल्सल राइट आफ्टर द स्टोरिंग ऑफ इन ऑर्डर ट्रेवल्सल वट आई एम डूइंग इज आई जस्ट डू द काउंट कन्वर्जन फंक्शन लेट मेक द काउंट इन्वर्जन फंक्शन in this function we are just passing array and value of n right let's make it count in version array and the value of n right so here what i am doing is as you know the we have to use the two pointer let's make two pointer first so low is always pointing to zero here and high is pointing to the last element of it right and inside this what i am doing is i am creating a merge sort function i calling the merge sort inside the merge sort i have array i have first element first pointer which is low and the second pointer which is high let's create here merge function merge sort inside this i am writing the array and low and high so what's the stopping condition we have to first the write the base case so if low is less than high right we have to run the we have to divide that array into two halves right so let's create the mid first what is mid low plus high by 2 okay after that we have to again merge call the merge sort from low to mid right and after that mid plus 1 to high okay after that we have to do the merge part so here i am doing the merge array low mid and high okay so let's create the merging part here first so in the merging part i have first argument as array and second is low mid and high right now the first thing is we have to find the size of left side right left array and right array so my let me write here n1 as left size of array left side so which is mid minus low plus 1 right we have to create the size of it now second is which is high minus mid right so here if i just tell you when i do the this step right this is my left side this is my left side which is mid minus mid is 2 what is my low low is 0 plus 1 so we have three elements in the left side that's why this is mid minus low plus 1 and in the right side we have high minus mid which is 4 minus 2 right it's a number of elements here in the 2 right that's why we are using here now we have to create the left array which is of size n1 right and right side which is of size n2 right now we have to put the value into the left and right that is left of i is equals to array of low plus low right now it's pointing to zero so we have to write low plus i here right and in the right side right of i is equal to array of mid plus 1 plus i right why i am doing here mid plus 1 if you see here my i have to first element is in the right side is 40 right but mid is here and j is at this which is zero right so mid is 2 2 plus 1 plus 0 which is 3 right i need this element that's why i am using here mid plus 1 okay now i have both the values right both the arrays now i have to do the sorting part and just calculate how many inversions there is so k is the element right which is pointing to low right let me write here if i is less than n1 and j is also n2 right so this is the uh, stopping case when any of the array is finished it's out of bound right here i do the comparison between left of i is if this 
in this case it means that it's not violating the property so simply i just store into the array right okay else it means it's violating the property right here i have to do the count equals to simple n1 minus i right and we have to write here it means array i is smallest so we have to write the array i here right let me write here count initially is zero okay at the end of it let's check if any array is left or not so here i am writing the case of that right if array of k plus plus equals to left of i plus plus okay after that we have to check in the right side if anything left in the right side we have to add okay at the end of it just return the count how many pairs are violating here we are just returning the count okay so in the merge part we are just returning the count and uh, let me write here also the count initially is zero and in this case what how many count we have just store so that's why i am using the count plus equals to merge sort in the left side and how many count in the right side we have again we have to store right and the merge function give us the actual count at the end of it we just return the count right to the parent function what's the parent function parent function is count inversion right and at the end of it we have to return into the main parent function which is pair violating bsp right let's check it's working fine or not yeah it's it's working fine let's check the custom cases yeah it's working fine let's submit it and check yeah as you see all the cases are passed right so it's a very simple steps if you know the uh, merge sort it's very simple question right so let me explain again the last uh, coding part so here i am just storing uh, creating the array n and in order function just creating and into the in order fashion and storing that element into the arr right here i am writing the function of it right this is a function of it now after that what i am doing is i just create the count inversion function and inside this i just created two pointers which is low and high and after that i just do the merge sort right so this is a merge sort so this is a simple steps of merge sort i hope you know it right so now just what i am doing is check in the right, left side check in the right side and in this case i just do the merging part and counting the number of inversion it have so this is the simple merge function right which give us two things first sort the array sub array and second count the inversions they give us the inversion part yeah that's the simple steps right hope you understand this intuition and solution thank you so much